千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. 
He's like, okay, master, uh, give me a moment. Give me just one moment. And then he backed way up from the chasm. He went way back. And then his breathing, his hyperventilating, his breathing in, his psyching himself up to make the jump. And then he runs, he gets running start, and then he jumps across and he successfully makes it to, to the other side. And there's a, he was a stumbling a little bit, but he made it, he made it to the other side. Observing all of this, the old monk asked him, uh, do you know why you needed to do all of that to get across the chasm? You needed to back way up and run full tilt before jumping to get across. Why did you have to do that? And the young man says, well, master, it's uh, obviously it's because my, my Kung Fu isn't, uh, isn't quite sufficient yet. So when I back up like that and then run full speed, I can create enough power to be able to get across this chasm. The old monk said, what you just said right now contains deeper meaning in the Tao. Think about it. When you understand what you have just said, you will be able to develop yourself physically and spiritually far more than you have. So the young monk thought about it as he was told and then he realized that whenever he tried to explain his understanding of sutras to other monks, he was, in effect, backing way up, breathing, and then doing a running start and then jumping across. He wanted to, he, he needed to put in a lot of effort to do that. Whenever he wanted to demonstrate what he had learned in Kung Fu techniques to the other monks. He was also, in effect, backing way up, breaking into a run, getting that running start, and then jumping across. Sometimes he succeeds in demonstrating a technique. Other times he falls on his face. That's like not clearing the chasm. Whereas, the old monk, his master, he had attained complete mastery, so he's able to jump across effortlessly without backing up, without that running start. That was the difference between the two of them. So finally, he understood what the monk had been saying all this time. So he changed his ways. He quieted down to study the Tao, to study the Kung Fu teachings, and eventually was able to attain great status in both the Tao and Kung Fu. So that is the story of the chasm. So I want to just make sure that everyone understands how to uh, apply this to your life, and then we will bring the meeting to an end today. Let's explore the story symbology. Leaping across the chasm, what does that represent? And if you feel like you, you get the story, you understand the story, feel free to type it into, into the, the meeting itself, into the webinar. Leaping across the chasm represents completing a particular task in life. Now, this task can be big or small. It's an objective. It could be a, a project. It could be a major goal. It could also be a minor chore. It's something that you want to accomplish in life. Jump on across effortlessly, which the old monk demonstrated, what does that represent? Again, if you feel like you know the answer, don't let me stop you. Go ahead and type it in. To jump across effortlessly like the old monk means that you have 
attained true mastery. The old monk had true mastery of his Kung Fu. He's able to jump across effortlessly because of the power that he possessed. What if you don't have that power? So backing up to get a running start, which is what the young monk had to do, what does that represent? Okay, I can see that everyone is really getting the story, understanding its message. Yes, it represents a lack of mastery. When you lack mastery, you have to work much harder, make a lot more noise, and you feel that you need to show everyone. You need to demonstrate your knowledge and what you can do, just like the young monk demonstrating his what he had learned in the Tao and in Kung Fu to other people. When you've attained true mastery, those needs go away. Conversely, unless you get beyond your need to do that running start, you're not going to attain true mastery. So now let's apply this to your life. Do you find yourself wanting to back up and get a running start sometimes like the young monk? If so, that signifies your lack of mastery. You may say, no, no, I, you know, I'm not showing off. I don't usually try to show off. But I would say, well, you got to look deeper. The answer is actually yes. If you ever felt the need to challenge someone to a debate, what are you doing there? You're backing up. You're getting a running start. You want to show everybody what you can do. You want to show how much you know more than the other person. So something to watch out for. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us travel safely. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.